Sorry, I was on mute. I wasn't planning on going just straight live without the intro screen, but the lighting was bugging me. Literally nothing has changed. <sighs> Technology. I know, yeah, there's something wrong with the lighting and I I wonder if it's honestly, I wonder if it's cuz I'm wearing I wear dark I wear dark shirts all the time. I wore dark shirt yes, dark shirt yesterday. I don't think the lighting changed. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. This is going to be a great stream. Technical technical difficulty stream chat. That didn't even make it better. It's too blue. Yeah. This is a problem, chat. Now I'm tan. How you doing? Why is it different? Uh, hmm, I'm working on it. Working on it. Sorry, chat. I, I, I literally don't know what could have changed. Let me try that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna step out from behind here. I'm curious if it's this shirt or something. So very bright. Is that better or worse? This is literally no different than every other. Like I, this is this time I haven't changed anything. Mike with the subbing. Do we need to go t-shirt string? Like, is it really like this? What if we did this? What if the shirt's too dark? T-shirt stream. It's still glowy. Hmm. Slightly better. I apologize, chat. This is not what y'all wanted to. Not what y'all wanted to deal with today. It's technical difficulties. Yes, Mafia Geek. That is the correct address. You just also have to realize like I'm slow at replying to emails. I'm gonna get sane box. Get sane box for my emails. All right, it's a little bit better. Did your lights color temp get changed? No. Like, literally hasn't changed, but I'm changing it now. Whatever. This is a little bit better. I think we can at least, I think we can at least get through on this. What's up, Dev? What's up, Dev? Mr. Big Time Dev over there. Y'all go give my man De Dude Dev a follow. I haven't seen Dev in a while. I haven't been on in the mornings to go, come hang out in the, in the Dev streams. Dev's like one of my favorite streamers, and I've never been over, I haven't been over there in a while. Window looks like more like a window now. Yeah. So my forehead's super shiny. Like literally nothing's changed today. So this one I can't explain. If I was fidgeting with stuff, I'd tell you. And then we'd be broke. That it would be broken. But I need, de I need dev lighting over here. 
Oh, Riley's starting school. Uh-oh. Well, good. Then I'll be around. Because once I get done streaming, I'm usually just watching streams. So then I'll be around for sure. So, but I need... Dev has the different color light background lightings. And it tones all this brightness down, right? Like, we are really having a problem today, chat. First day of 10th grade here. Oof, man. Maybe I just need to sit further back today. So I'm not so shiny. We're not doing too much today, chat. We uh, just wrapped up the podcast. Um, it was a good show. I mostly talked about myself. <laughs> hey, Toasty. <sighs> For someone who is very technically inclined, I have real trouble with cameras and lighting. Like, that is not my deal. And especially when I don't change something and it breaks, that's a real problem for me to troubleshoot. We'll do, yeah, lounging stream as I wield like the lightsaber looking pencil. Are you using manual exposure or auto exposure? So one of the core problems that I haven't fixed is this is just a webcam. So this light here, if I had a real camera, for this camera, we would be in much better shape than we are right now. So I was actually going to, uh, this is the HD, the Logitech, the, the basic HD 1080 Logitech. So I probably can probably look at some of those settings. <clears throat> no, we're ready, we're ready for questions. I'm, everyone's sick of me talking about my lighting situation. So yeah, let's hit me with questions. Can you recommend a gold nib that fits the Leonardo Memento Zero as an upgrade to the stock steel nib? Yes, the Leonardo Memento Zero gold nib. Made by Yovo. That, I mean, I'm not even joking. That's 100% what I would do. The Yovo gold nibs are very nice. That is 100% what I would do. So yeah, eventually we'll have this cam. Oof. See now this cam's lighting screwed up because we're so screwed up. So I had this camera, the desk camera, yesterday was perfect, right? And now since the room lighting is screwed, this lighting's screwed. So mad right now, chat. Thanks, what size is the best? Like tip size, like extra fine, fine, medium, broad, stub. You doing Hobo Nietzsche this year or Plotter? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll see what Plotter has. My exposure is definitely off, but literally nothing has changed. So if I start messing with stuff, I'm gonna break it worse. And it's just a webcam, so we'll, we'll I'll look at it afterwards. My capture card, my capture card's borked. My webcam is borked. It's because I changed the sun? Absolutely. Looked at Plotter at DC but couldn't pull the trigger because it's so expensive. I get that, for sure. Do you see where Hobonichi is expanding their English offerings to include the cousin in weeks? No, I haven't looked at the um, the Hobonichi launch stuff yet. So I need to look at that. Um, it's never bothered me, obviously, to use the cousin or the weeks uh, with the Japanese text. That's never been an issue for me. What are you hunting for at San Francisco Pin Show, Brad? Nothing. I haven't thought about it. Um, I want to look at the small, small plotters the tiny plotters and the Masubi stuff and the Toyoka craft stuff after that. Like, I'm just kind of like, there's no pins on my list. Like I'll end up with something, right? But um, outside of that, I don't really have like a legit list to uh, shop for. I know this used to be Mike's obsession, but any tips for traveling with fountain pens? I figure it's okay to keep cartridges and pens, but should I drain any pens that have ink, uh, converter, piston, eyedropper systems? So, you're fine to um, travel with fountain pens, air travel with fountain pens, as long as you follow two basic guidelines. One, if they have ink in them, make sure they're full, right? Less air in a 
cartridge, a converter, a piston, or an eyedropper, right? And then when you're in flight and not using them, store them tip up. If I follow those two rules, I've never had an issue on a flight. I don't even, it doesn't even phase me anymore to travel with fountain pens as long as I do those two things. <laughs> <clears throat> the tiny plotter is cute yeah like i i just gotta we'll see if i um if i have a use case for it right i may not want to spend you know two hundred dollars for not using it right we don't we don't do that right on the hunt for a good time with folks facts toyoka craft is amazing same Kick-ass time with test, that's high on the list. You think the Mini 5 is perfect? Yeah. Are you gonna get some nib grime done from CY at SF or some crazy stack nib for him? I literally have a message I have to reply to in CY, uh, from CY in Twitter that I can see on this screen right here. And it's only pulling up one of the message. It's a multi-threaded message. And it says, I want to have you over at my table at San Francisco early in the show. I have a pen that you might be interested in. Like, this is not what you want your friends to tell you. <laughs> when your friends start dropping this on you, like before the show, I haven't, I haven't opened this thread yet. <laughs> you know you're in trouble when? That, that's when you know you're in trouble. <laughs> uh have you thought about travels for uh 2023 pen shows yet no no although me and mike have threatened that's that's tokyo year but we haven't uh, we haven't figured it out yet he has you figured it out see why a smart guy he knows what i like that means one gets the boot out of the pin box i wish i could get that done before the san francisco pin show Unless I like do it today or the next two day. <clears throat> I'm a novice. What's the best way to ease myself into luxury paper and pens? First thing I would do is get some nice paper and then see what type of pens you have that you like that work on that paper. Like if you want to get into fountain pens, what's easily accessible is a brand called Rhodia. Um, you don't even have to necessarily shop online for that. Like sometimes like a lot of art supply stores, local stores, craft stores, Michael's. Um, things like that stock rhodia paper and then like beginner fountain pens like the platinum preppy or the pilot metropolitan apologize the yard guys are here today um so like a platinum preppy and a rhodia notepad would cost you about 15 bucks shipped like if you order online and then that way you can test to see hey do i even like this kind of stuff right and then the paper um, even if you didn't like the fountain pen, the paper is going to be good enough for everything else, right? It would be like a lost cause. And then the Platinum Preppy is a, is a $5 fountain pen that's like literally one of my favorite pens. I keep it on my desk at all times. Strings and pedals, six months of subbing. Let's go. Happy six months. Always a happy six months here. I just noticed yesterday that there's a dispensary across from the show hotel this year, House of Dankness. Is this the Denver show or the, or the San Francisco show? yeah definitely check it check out michael's look for rhodia they're orange they're bright orange you would like that in denver i figured <laughs> what are we doing um we're mostly been complaining about brad's lighting situation i came on the lighting was on fire here today. We might not even put this one up on uh, YouTube afterwards because it's been such a bad stream um, um, image, right? Something happened overnight. Your preppy is non-standard. It's solid white color. Yeah, so my preppy is non-standard. It's the um, it's the Perpineth one, which is the terrible name. Um, so it's the platinum. Um, I mean, it, it's a collaboration with uh, Kakuyo, is it Kakuyo that did the Perp, or Midori, who did Perpinep? So, uh, chat is normally there, it's sometimes over here, depending. It's probably better over here today because it's so bright. 
Brad, you can do transitions just by shoving your hand into the camera. I've tried. The problem is this is just a webcam, so it's not like super great at adjusting these things. So we've tried. My white preppy is twelve ninety nine. Wasn't it like eight ninety nine or seven ninety nine originally? So yeah. Here we'll put this one up here. Y'all know what this is. Put it up on YouTube. I love to have those streams on when I'm doing evening things. No, no, a lot of people do that just for background noise. The new white plays ears look nice. They do look nice. Except they're like forty bucks, aren't they? Aren't the new white plays ears like $40? Is the plays ear normally that much? Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking the pre found tay. I have the three pin sleeve of that. That one. Three pin koozie. I don't have the koozie. So I said I was going to give away some of the new. Some of the new rickshaw stuff. I'm going to rescind that. And here's why. The white ones are 40. Yeah, that's crazy. The plays ear, the normal plays ear is like 17. Wow, that's crazy. Koozie case is the Maryland flag because I'm predictable. At least it's a good flag. All right, let's look at the terrible lighting here. Oh, look, there's show notes. I am so livid right now chat i've been trying to hunt down some cheap fountain pen friendly notebooks need like six of them have you ever looked at black and red from staples um maybe something like that um rhodia also but that's more of a notepad um depending on if you need a notebook um what you're using it for We don't, I, I don't need to sell this for a nice price because uh, Rickshaw just does it by default. So I told y'all yesterday, if you were here yesterday, if you listened to the podcast today, um, more of my notebooks are cheapest. Uh, more of them is great. So if you missed it, we're bringing back the Sinclair, working with Rickshaw to do some design, some cool materials, some cool stuff. <clears throat> um. So these are the three that I have. Rip. I almost had a catastrophe there. So yeah, this is, I forget, this is some weird kind of fabric that Mark had. I think we'll, we'll eventually do some in this fabric. I forget what's called. It feels great. So um, I said I was going to give one of these away. I am actually going to rescind that and here's why none of these have the rickshaw tag on them and i don't even if they don't have the knock tag on them i'm fine with i don't want to give away my prototypes that aren't finished um i just don't think that would be a cool thing to do so i apologize on that but we do have these pin sleeves that mark shipped me shipped to me with this case so you can actually fit the two and three three pin slots sleeves in here three slots a little bit tight but you can fit these on here I know a person that needs the Van Gogh too so what we'll do is let's give away both of these we'll give away one now and then one here in a few minutes uh, depending on how long I can stand this bad lighting. Take the orange one, just scribble rickshaw across the front. Nice. Write rickshaw on them in Sharpie Basquiat style. They'd be worth thousands. I could do that. <laughs> so let's give away the two pin case. So this will fit two fountain pens in here. All right. So like that, like that, All right? So let's give these away because these are actually final versions. These are products that already exist. These will be available online after this SF show. That is correct. That actually might be, they might turn it on during the show, like the online ordering site. 
So, um, so let's do that. All right, let's do the two pin sleeve. Then we'll hang out a little bit more. Then we'll do the three pin sleeve next. And then we'll probably wrap it up because I am super mad at this lighting situation. I am upset, upsetty spaghetti chat. All right, so this is Starry Night two pin case, two pin sleeve, I should say. All right, Starry Night two pin sleeve. All right, exclamation point raffle. I'm gonna scoot back so we get some better lighting. You don't have to be a follower, a member, a subscriber. You don't have to live in the US. Enter to win this cool case from Rickshaw. Two pin sleeve, right there. And I'm gonna sit here and stew over my situation, my lighting situation. All right, so apologies. So after San Francisco, I'll, I promise I will get y'all one of these in San Francisco to give away on stream. I'm going to come home with a bunch of them, right, for giveaways, promotions, usage, things like that. So I rescind my previous giveaway uh, thoughts, um, but I will make it up to you post-San Francisco show. How many versions will be available at launch? Um, knowing Mark, the answer is yes. <laughs> we were going to try to just do a few colors, but he can't help himself. He just keeps making more colors. So uh, there will be a lot of colors available. We're going to try to do, put on a help hat. I don't have a hat in here. I'm not going to worry about it. We're not going to stay too long, and then I'll work on it this afternoon uh, to figure it out. Like, it's just, it's literal BS. I am very not, y'all very seem, very rarely see me upset. I'm I don't know what's happening this morning with the lighting. Yeah, I know. There is a problem with the lighting, and I don't know what happened. So, so I'm trying to lean back, keep off. Oh, good. I've already, oh, there we go. I've been trying to keep off screen for a little bit. But yeah, so we're gonna start, um, the, some of the rickshaw stuff is gonna be in like classic not color, uh, not color colorways, not co colorways, words. So you'll get some like, uh, like the orange and blue is gonna be a good one. And then there's a gray and orange. Uh, some of the classics, uh, black and aqua, stuff like that. I know, I wanna hang too, but it's really hard for me to look at. So I know it's hard for y'all to look at. Yeah, good thing I'm not testing or inking anything. Yeah. That's the other thing is like when things are good from day to day, it's like I don't test this out beforehand, right? Because nothing changed from yesterday except everything apparently. I know it's not that bad. It just makes me mad because I see it. Primary color ones too, right? Yes. All right. Let's do this giveaway. So we're going to bork here. Bork. I know, I appreciate you, Tess. All right, let's pick a winner. First winner, Mr. Monty Don. That's gotta be a first time winner, right? Mr. Monty Don, that's a name. I like that name. Congratulations, you must be present to win. That is one of the rules. So you gotta say, what's up, in the chat. And then you have to email me at hello at pinnack.com. Mr. Monty Don, if that is your real name. Hooray! All right, you win the two pin case. Oh, Corgi butt went away. Corgi butt. All right, so let's give that to you. All right, see you, Evan. All right, that's that. So, so 
So yeah, look for a lot more of this stuff around San Francisco time, which is really only like two weeks away. So about two weeks from now, we'll be out there and uh, launching these shows. I'll, I'll bring home a plenty. I'll bring home a plenty. So there we go. What else did we talk about on the show today? We finally got to mention um, all 15 of Pilot's nib sizes now for the 912. We talked about that on the show. Thanks to y'all for bringing that up to me a couple weeks ago. I meant, forgot to mention it then. Um, we talked about the Narwhal change, which brought up a very lively discussion in the Discord. Uh, 15 is nuts. So I think about that. Um, I mentioned it on the show today. The inventory and the gold, the the amount of dollars in that inventory to staff, to stock, to stock a new region has to be just madness. Mark Dwight SF, I wonder who that is. Thank you for the follow. I wonder who that guy is. I have no idea. No idea who that could be. <laughs> Any word further on the Kaveco Classic FP? So, I am... Um, I talked to one of the retailers and they said it was just simply a too soon thing. Not that it's super delayed. So they think it's going to come out next month. So it was, uh, they all got the same email that said, Hey, launch date X. They all uploaded the imagery to their sites said, Hey, we're going to start taking orders on this. And then Kaveco, Kaveco said, no, that's a mistake. So they all had to take it back down it's it's a non-issue issue and that it should be back i think next month is what i was told so we'll see saw someone from DV, dc got the COVID. oh no yeah like that's gonna like i'm a twitch noob just downloaded the app we're all twitch noobs here um as you can tell by my lighting situation which is complete butts so we're i'm having a very twitch noob day too so uh we enjoy it here though I wonder if that was the no standard date format month day swap. Maybe. Maybe. Will the Kaveco Classic be only in black for launch? Yes. Everyone wear a mask and SF. I will be wearing. Gen Con seems to have it worse so far. Yeah. <laughs> Complete butt is totally the accurate descriptor of the day. Although the podcast was not butts, the pen cases are not. But look at this, look. Lighting is butts. We can't make this a mature stream though. We don't, so we can say butts, but that's it. Um, so yeah, like, yeah, I haven't had COVID yet. And I'm, despite being vaccinated and boosted, like I'm fully prepared between now and the rest of the year at some point, it like the odds are not in my favor, right? It just hope that it doesn't, doesn't do anything like crazy being as protected as I can, right? So that's, that's the goal. That's the goal. It's an excellent conversation we're all here for. True. Bringing an entire pack of masks with me, not taking any chances, right? Actually, I probably need to get a few more of the good the good N95 ones. I have like four or five. I need to check on that. Actually, I have a list of things I need to do here. Look, I can show you all my notes because you can't read them. Ha. KN95 is what I want. So I need to order stuff today. I'm thinking about, here's this, okay, here's a conversation we can have because this is something I'm thinking about. Should I get, I already know your answer for this. Should I get a good quality portable recording setup for show floor interviews, hotel interviews? Um, this is where my mind's at right now especially for like pen Attic members content um, or general content, really any, anything to have like 
not like the full podcaster setup, but to get, hey, let's do something with nice quality that's portable. So yeah, trust me, I know the answer is yes because that's what's on my, my shopping list for that is on here. Like, and it's gotta be good quality stuff, right? So yeah, I had to talk with Mike to give me the, the technical list because I don't just wanna use like my iPhone to record. Like I want real microphones, like a real recording device. Um, so yeah, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, Ink Dependence Mike, I could ask him too. So yeah, so we need like super good microphones. How often will you use it? That's where my main question is, this is going to be expensive and I better use the heck of it heck out of it so at least twice in the next month right Rode wireless go zoom h4n so mike said uh zoom h6 is what i have on my list here is zoom h6 so i don't know the differences between the h4n and the hn1 but mike says zoom h6 that's on my list but you're gonna be traveling more soon. That's the goal, Com, Alt, Dell, right? And I can, this is a business expense. So like, I'm okay spending for the good stuff, not because it's a business expense, but because it has to sound good or reasonably good as an open room, hotel floor, crowded area can sound, right? So, so yeah. <clears throat> Zoom HN1. I'll write down and see what these, uh, what the differences are in them. Mike is fancier than me. So did he tell me, in it, the, is the one he told me more expensive? You will come to Baltimore, you will come to Baltimore. When I plan for 2023, I can't think of a show that would be much higher than Baltimore. We're talking like Philly, Baltimore, San Fran, Chicago, like, that's kind of like my getting the year started thought process. Dutch pin show, Tokyo, <laughs> all that stuff. <laughs> so all of those things. So, all right. So that's a resounding yes. Like, did, did anyone want to say no, Brad? You shouldn't go buy recording equipment so we can have more fun things. Tokyo, if they're letting people in, yeah, we're already two years delayed on that. The higher the number, the better. Gotcha. I haven't even looked at prices, so I don't even know like what he's telling me. Oh, I love Baltimore. Ba Baltimore is not an arm twisty thing for me. Not even remotely. Yes, Dutch pin show, tips. Yeah, yes to both. Did I hear you say you're coming to Philly? No, but I love the Philly show. I've only been once, but I loved it because it's so small, but in such a good location. The higher the number, the more inputs. Gotcha, gotcha. Might be bunny on your needs. Yeah, like I'm not getting more than two microphones. I don't want to travel with all this crap either, right? That's part of the consideration. Long Island, I will not be going to the Long Island Pin Show. Maybe ever. <laughs> Just because it's usually like a one day show. 130, 220, 300. Okay, I'll just look at what the uh, options are. It's the, I would love to come to the Long Island show. It's just not worth traveling to a one day show. Almost, that's just like a universal statement. Unless it's the Dutch pin show and Annabelle's gonna fix that. You can do a stationary travel show. That is on my, um, my big picture list. Um of what type of things I would like to create. Um, I've always had like the like stationary road trip type of thing, especially where I live. I'm surrounded by some of the best makers going within, you know, a half day's drive of me. H4N has two XLR inputs. I mean, I'm just buying two mics, so maybe it's the H4N. Does the six have more inputs? I attend Philly every year, but the problem is the weather. It It is bad, which I'm okay with, except for travel. Like, I'm fine being in the bad weather. It's the getting in and out of the bad weather. 
that can be a, a challenge. So, so yeah. So dream scenario. Whoever was asking this, Boss Baker, Chris, I think. Uh, dream scenario would be a stationary travel show. I think Brad and I should tour the U.S. together, and that's all. Thank you. Yeah, done. The end. Travel by train. That would be cool. I would do that. I'm not far from an Amtrak hub. I mean, here to Atlanta. It's the same thing going to the airport. You guys should start doing an annual call-in show. Maybe we should at least do the voice mailbox thing. Yeah, travel to different shops. Go see in my Fountain Pen Hospital, Yoseka, then record a podcast in Central Park. Yeah. If you don't want to carry a big setup with XLR mics, look into nice lapel mics. Am I going to get enough like background noise cancellation for that? Agree on call-in voicemail questions. Maybe I should do that for... I'm going to write this down. Maybe I should do that like with Pen Attic members. Mike would probably never go for that. <clears throat> Dutch travel, that would be, the Dutch travel show would be easy. Because I could, um, you know, hit hit some of the shops, the uh, Ackermann, Fonta Plumo, Apple Boom. That would be, I mean, I would have to take a lot of time, but I love the chaos randomness of the WNYC segment. Wasn't that a trip? I was so happy with how that turned out chat i'm not even gonna lie like i'm pretty proud of that that whole segment all right pen attic discord let's go <laughs> it exists but no one's in it <laughs> pen attic cruise like another another thing i would like to do is like a, a travel group or like something i don't know Hey, Brad, what about going to visit the rickshaw shop on San Fran? Yeah, I'm not going to have time. Neither is Mark. <laughs> that would have to be a pre or post. Like when we did the Relay 5th anniversary, we took a tour. Um, but yeah, one of the that's always on the, the forever list. XLR would definitely have better audio quality, but the trade-off is size of the kit. Yeah, and faster battery drain. I get you. Panatic retreat? Yeah, exactly. Like it would be like a retreat, not like a trip thing. Like I have all these, I have, I have grand ideas. I just don't have grand execution of ideas. It's a lot of time, a lot of work, which is good. Like I'm down for that. So is I think about these things, chat, and I tell them to y'all because that, that makes them come to life, right? Dutch travel show would take us all like a day. It's small, small country. True. So yeah, I have great, y'all are, y'all are checking off some of my grand idea boxes today and it starts with these microphones, portable travel let's go all right let's do a second giveaway chat we're gonna do the three pin sleeve this time so we have the rickshaw three pin sleeve thank you mark dwight sf for sending these my way i told chat that i'm gonna come back from san fran with some giveaway sinclairs for them um so i've promised them that but for now mark sent me this to fit into my starry night um sample my Starry Night prototype when we were building these out. So I'm going to give these. You have experience planning writing retreats? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, 100%. So like I have some ideas. I have some ideas. I'd have to see if I could pull it off. Like even my wife's even been on me, been on my case for that, which is which is good. All right. Y'all ready? Three pin sleeve from Rickshaw. Thank you, Mark Dwight SF. All right. Let's open this up. All right, this giveaway is open, type exclamation point raffle. If you like it, test you will plan it, nice. <clears throat> yeah, I have I have ideas, chat. We just gotta get time and to working on them. Retreat at Wild Acres in Little Switzerland, North Carolina. Everything about that sounds awesome. <laughs> You don't have to be a follower, subscriber, member. Brad, are you actually doing a Starry Night Sinclair? Um, I'm sure Mark will. That's one of his uh, most popular sellers, maybe the single best seller. So almost certainly. Plus, you're going to be able to design your own. So you'll be able to go online once these launch and build your own. Like the Sinclair Model R is going to be 
full product lineup rickshaw. Whatever you want to do, whatever materials you want to want to add on, whatever changes you want to make, you're going to be able to do it with this one. So you will certainly see the Model R um, with the Starry Night pattern. Almost certainly. I mean, I have one right here. So you can bank on it coming. You will be able to. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, you're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to build the Sinclair Model R how you like. Eventually. Date in mind for launch for these. For if we're talking about the rickshaw stuff, it'll be August twenty sixth. So a couple weeks. We're gonna launch at the San Francisco Pen Show in a couple weeks. A couple wait weeks weeks. Camp Burton. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the I'm gonna put that on my side screen. Got to get one with the wild octopus design. I'm pretty sure, and maybe Mark can chime in if he learns how to use Twitch. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have that at the San Fran Pen Show. That was on the short list of what do we make for the San Francisco Pen Show. Um, octopus was on that list. So. Don't quote me on that, like, but I'm, that, that's, that's high up there. That's high up there for sure. All right. <clears throat> we have any at the Orlando show. I am not selling these. These are from Rickshaw. So I will not be running like a Rickshaw table at future pin shows. So you'll be able to order them directly from Rickshaw though. I mean, you'll, I'll have mine to show you, but I'm not going to have any to sell if that, if that's what you're looking for. All right, let's pick a winner. Quadrupod, almost cephalopod, since we were talking about octopuses. Quadrupod, have you ever actually won quadrupod? I know you've been a, a long time viewer. Have you ever actually won? Yay. So you got the three pin sleeve. All right, email me, hello at pinatic.com. First time win. We've been on a roll recently. Roll of first timers. All right, there we go. There we go, chat. Exciting times. Inktopus was a collab with Ink Journal. Yes. So we're gonna continue. We're gonna. Um, Mark still uses that pattern um, for other products and with with Ink Journal. So I'm almost certain he said he was gonna do that. Don't quote me on it, but I feel like that was on the list when we were deciding what colors. What's a U N L U L N? I don't, what's that in reference to? All right. Oh, my shirt. <laughs> it's NLU. <laughs> NLU, no laying up. It's a, a golf podcast I listen to. Golf content creators that are really exceptional. They do, okay, rewind back to the travel. They do with golf, what I want to do with stationary. Since we're on it, we'll wrap it up here. I'm going to show you all this real quick. I mean, they're a little bit more uh, higher end, if you will. Let's see here. So they do a show called Tourist Sauce. Probably foolhardy. Whoops. And I would... So here's like the tour sauce playlist. So this is just one season. So every year they go on a trip. Every year they go on a trip and then video their trip. And it's super, super great. What's the difference between Tactile Turn Bolt and Kara's Custom Bolt 2? I have literally no idea. I don't, cause I don't, I don't know what the Kara's Custom Bolt V2 looks like. So yeah. So really, if you wanna watch one thing about what I wanna create for travel, this episode is probably the one. They even highlight this on their main page because it's such a good episode. So 
you don't have to be go- into golf to enjoy these shows, which is um, why I like them so much. Panatic Vlog, yeah. Kinda. Kinda. So yeah, I would love to do some travel, travel vlogging, travel blogging. But like all of that has been put on hold for years, right? Just with COVID restrictions, travel restrictions, um, you know, inflation, like the dollar not going as far now, right? Like everything is just like super tight. So I can at least start thinking about it now. Now that travel is at least loosening up, I can start having some ideas and checking feasibility of things. Right? So, just gotta gotta think about it. Just gotta think about it. Oh, our friend, um, you know what I'm gonna do? Our friend Grey Webb is streaming. He's in France. I'm gonna start this with these two, these last two uh, giveaway winners. So, let me show you this real quick. So, Grey Webb. He is the uh, plotter artist that uses a lot of fountain pens. He lives in France, and I got this. E- I got this. Uh, I went to the PO box the other day, and he sent me this collection of cut up maps. So let me read to you what he said. So this is here. Let me. I guess it's it's better if I read it. All right. Hey Brad, I hope you're having a wonderful summer. I wanted to give something special made with my plotter and using fountain pens. The plot is an A3 piece fractioned into eight pieces. As you have a passion community on Twitch that you do giveaways, I thought it'd be interesting to distribute the cards to different owners that way. So he created um, this plot and cut it up, created a singular plot. Whoops. Got something on my screen here. And then cut it up. And then on each piece, he's got the plot uh, name and like which section it is. Like this is four of eight. Oh, great. I was wondering why, I was wondering why my screen changed to showing me over there. <laughs> So I was just showing them what you sent me because I just opened it yesterday. So this is really cool. Do you recall? Yeah. (laughs) So y'all go follow Grey Web. Grey Web, do you recall the pen and ink you used for this by chance? Or maybe it's on the link that you put in a link here for me to check out. So each one's numbered. Which plot it is. Uh, on the back. This is insane. You remember when you raided me the other day? I literally sent that the day before. No way. No way. That's awesome. I was going to say, because this had to have been a while. This, w- this would have had to been like before that stream. So these are, this is just really cool. So what I'm going to do, starting with these giveaways, especially since, I mean, they kind of go with this, right? Okay, so that's the plot. Gotcha. So this is the... Okay, so here's the original. So Diamine, Hope, Pink, and Indigo. And it took 10 hours to create. So this is what we have here. How cool is that? Oh, here it is. The eight parts were shipped together to someone who does not know it yet. They will actually choose what to do with them. Will they be reunited again? We're going to send eight different pieces to eight different people out in the world. (laughs) So this is cool. So I'm going to send off the first two pieces on today's today's giveaway winners. Uh, Mr. Monty Don and Mr. Quadrupod or... Not Mr. Just Quadrapod. Not everyone has a Mr. on the front of their name. So I'm going to randomize. Randomize the pieces. And we'll send them out to... uh, 
We'll send them out to y'all here. And then there'll be eight pieces of these out in the world. All right, so we'll just do this. So thank you so much for sending me these. And then we have, of course, Gray's cool business card in here with awesome plot art. We'll make sure we put put that in there with each one of these too, because it's just it's cool on its own. All right. So there we go. So the next, so y'all remind me the next six giveaways are also going to get a piece of the puzzle here, right? So y'all will be forever linked together. All right. So how cool is that? Thank you for doing that. And thanks for, uh, thanks for sending that my way. I, I opened this and just had a big grin. I just opened it up yesterday. So thank you for doing that. It had been a minute. All right. We're going to wrap it up here. Chat. That is a map for buried treasure. Oof. <laughs> How, isn't this community great? Isn't this community great? So like that, that's a hap for all my angst at my lighting today. How can you just not be happy with what we do here, right? How can you just not be happy to be part of this cool stationary community? Good luck with the light issue. I know what I'm doing this afternoon. What a mess. Thank you all for hanging out. The podcast is in your podcast player of choice right now. Mike and I talk about uh, me leaving him for WNYC. <laughs> Brad goes big time on Mike, um, so he will. Uh, Y'all will enjoy Mike's commentary on my uh, my visit to WNYC. So <laughs> go listen to that. Uh, I'll be here at ten o'clock tomorrow, hopefully with better lighting. Uh, until then, right on. <laughs>